in today's video we're going to be talking about my kind of mindset right now and how I've I've entered a phase of kind of a renewal in my art and I want to kind of try as many new things as I can so that I kind of have a clearer way of doing things. <laughs> I'm at a stage now where I've created a lot of art over the years and it's brought me to a place where I'm starting to ask different questions about my art and I'm trying to find a reason for every piece and why I'm doing it like I'm starting to break down it further than I I did before and I think this is kind of a natural progression of an artist and how you're you're going to create art and then you're going to rethink it you're going to look at it differently over time and and then you kind of your identity is your art and when you kind of don't know you you've you, you feel a bit lost and that's kind of where I'm at now I'm like okay if if I'm having like these kind of like feelings thoughts and feelings about my art um where you know I don't feel like I'm getting the most out of it I don't feel um the most fulfilled out of it um that's when I have to start forcing myself to ask questions like and answering them to eventually end up clearer and uh, more fulfilled with my art so that's exactly what I've been trying to discover over these last like maybe a month now of creating these different pieces with water and um, yeah I've just been trying to create something that's taking my my work that I've created over the last couple of years and then combining changing using different elements that I wouldn't have before um, to create something new and and interesting um, and yeah that's what I've kind of been doing and this is the piece that I created at the start of the week um, I kind of had a plan and uh, yeah <laughs> uh, yeah I, I created this over like you know three days um, because I was going on and off with, you know, I <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. And then uh, I had to really look up, like, and study um, works and pieces and pictures of water and kind of trying to figure out how it works and how I could paint it in a way. So that's what's really been cool about these pieces. It's been, really been challenging me and I feel like it's very easy to lose that challenge in your art because you you find ways and you learn ways of doing things and then you just do that but then the thing is with art there's so many different ways of doing things so um yeah that's what I've been doing with this and even though I struggled on the first day you know maybe it, it looked like I was um doing everything as planned and it, it looks all cool but you know, I, I started off, okay, I'm going to do this. This is really cool. I got this idea of Squirtle in, in the water um, with a little light orb. And, and that's a sort of reference to one of my illustrations that I did earlier in the year. Um, I will uh, show it on screen now. Um, but yeah, like I had that rough idea and I was super excited to get on with it. And then the further I got on in the first day, um, while painting about half an hour in um, I was like oh my god what what is happening no everything is is like completely going wrong and um, yeah it's just not what I expected but I realized um, after taking you know time off it for a day and then coming back to it um, I started to realize that you know I need this I need this struggle um, so that I can learn as much as I can and, and really uh, continue to grow as an artist. So it's good. It's good that I was struggling um, because it forced me to study as much as I can um, about it. And I, I still do it. It's, it's still a really long process, but I'm super happy that I can um, create these pieces and really question my art so that, yeah, it, it, will, it will turn out better in the future. 
day three came around and I was feeling much more confident in this piece. I, I think on the second day I got past that kind of um, mountain of doubt I had <laughs> uh, from the first day and I felt like I overcame that but on the third day on the Wednesday I decided I needed to create break up the water and kind of change it a little so I started to add these like kind of trees and um, you know foliage around Squirtle so it would give it a kind of like it would, it would add to the scene it would kind of create a little depth in the scene um, and it actually ended up quite uh, good and, and really um, I feel like the the piece really needed it um, but that's interesting because it's like I I was struggling and I needed that I didn't see it at first but then over the couple of days of working on it on and off I I found that I discovered it so that's <laughs> it's a funny way of like how it is because that's kind of where I am with my art it it, it does take time uh, to develop these new ideas and become clearer on what you want to do um, so it was a kind of nice way of um, discovering new ways of, of creating and, and adding stuff to my art. Although this piece might not be my favourite piece I've ever painted, it really gave me a um, kind of learning experience that I wouldn't have got from something else. Like, that's what these pieces give to me. They give me a lesson. And every time I, I, I'll look at this art again, um, I will see those lessons. I will see the lessons that I learned and the kind of struggle that I went through to get to that final piece um, and that is something that I think it's really important to um, embrace every piece that you create and uh, you know no art is a complete failure because you have you you went through a struggle you went through something you went through a journey to create that and even though you might not necessarily like that piece you still created it and learned from it um, so that's it. It's like having that peace of mind where you're not fighting yourself with, um, oh, this is terrible. This is the the worst thing I've ever done. Like instead of doubting myself and, and being like shooting down my, my confidence levels, I've realized that, you know, let's just embrace it. Let's go for it. Let's use it to be inspired of. I know a lot of artists can relate to this because um, there's always some sort of self-doubt uh, within an artist or w within a creative person. Um, I don't know. I just I've known a lot of people who uh, have gone through the same kind of self-doubt and like we sometimes don't see our art for what it is. We we see the mistakes. We see the failures. Um, so we tend to just cling on to that and think that, you know, this is terrible, this, this is rubbish. But I feel like I'm training myself to become more accepting of those mistakes and accepting of um, how it actually turned out. And instead of saying it's rubbish and pushing it to the side and really getting down over that, I've kind of switched that mindset to be like, OK, this is this is wasn't my best piece it wasn't a masterpiece but it was something that I really learned from and I, I went through a struggle to get to a better place I think that's something that I have to always remind myself to remember uh, when I create pieces like this where they're completely experimental but um, yeah that just accepting that they're not going to be a masterpiece or, or perfect um, yeah, I think that's just a, a perfectionist um, thing inside me where, you know, I want everything to be the best I can. Um, but I feel like that there's a added uh, unneeded pressure <laughs> when you do that to yourself. And really, there's just no point. There's no point fighting that war within within you because, yeah, it's just going to lead to bad things. So. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's where I'm at, guys. <laughs> Hope you guys have enjoyed. 
um, let me know what you guys think about this piece um, a lot of it's, it's funny because I put it up on Instagram and I'm getting super positive feedback and it goes back to what I just said um, how I naturally um, push myself down and I, I don't uh, really embrace the the things I create um, sometimes which is um, yeah I guess I just have to learn it and and try to constantly ask myself or check in myself within myself to um, you know I've created art uh, that someone's gonna like like whatever <laughs> uh, and I don't have to like it it's fine if I don't have to like if I don't like it if you like this video, give it a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, they, I guess, help me. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm such a rookie at YouTube. Um, but yeah, as long as I'm creating the, these uh, pieces or videos that are helping you guys and uh, they're also actually helping me um, a lot with my kind of mindset and how I've, how I, it forces me to think about my uh, work um, a little more and, and be a little bit more analytical of my uh, ways of doing things so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one bye